An opening statement for Coach? Uh, just took us too long to wake up. We didn't come with, uh, looked like we, I, you know, I don't even know how to describe or, or what it was, but obviously the physical intensity wasn't there, but mentally we weren't there. We looked uh, unsure of ourselves. And we were doing things that, you know, I haven't seen them do in practice and things like that. Uh, uh, that's the downside. You can't go down 19 points, and play a team, say one, think you're going to come back and win. Uh, second half. I thought we got things rolling defensively really, really good. And uh, you held that team has been at uh, 50 and 40, uh, 50 from the floor, 40 from threes. And we hold them to 35 and 29. Uh, defensively, we were, we were on them. We fought. We brought our ways back. Had great chances to win. I thought Ira Bennett got his game going. And uh, we can see what we can get in the future from him as, long as, as well as Tavian. You know, I was almost ready to foul to that last shot. The kid made a great shot. Give me math. But, you know, it's, it's, you can't foul at 12 seconds. It's too long. Once they started running, then you got to be careful about grabbing because they'll just go up and shoot it, and you'll be at the three-point line making three free throws. So take a chance on whether you make three free throws or make that running side moving three. The night he hit it, it's a great shot. Thought we came back, got a – Real good look. I missed a little jumper in the lane, really. I think John, I don't know if that was, you know, that was right before that. Would have put us up five. You know, he, he usually makes those. We just missed them. But uh, that's what happens when you go down 19. You put the monkey on your back. Very seldom can you take it off. They're a good team, well coached, and uh, they run things hard. And I thought our kids did a great job defensively. So this going forward, is, uh, our schedule's a lot tougher this year. We're playing teams that uh, their records are 5-2 or 7-8-1. Uh, it's going to make us better. You know, sure, you'd like to have a couple more wins out of it, but uh, it's going to make us better. Games played in February. We'll get better. Something that I think we saw today, that we, especially compared to last season, that we didn't see was, was trouble from the line. Yeah, I, you know, again, that's when you're not ready to play. That's what happens. That's, that's a mental focus. It's not anything that just getting up there mentally. John missed a big one down there uh, toward the end. So it's confidence. A lot of it's confidence and mental focus. And sometimes, you know, when you have the season we had last year, you're afraid, almost afraid to lose that season. And you, you get a little uh, anxiety about it. And uh, we can't do that. That season's gone. they got to play like they're trying to win one. Not not keep one, so hopefully we'll we'll do that as we keep on going down the road. I don't know how much you can say about that John's three that they didn't call. Is it? Well, like I thought it was really all I can say was a really, 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 really bad break. You know that's that's all I can say. <laughs> and did you feel like they were you you guys were tentative in the first half and then that changed Very in tentative. the second? Uh, just the way we were running things, we were just in our movement. I hadn't seen them make the decisions or lack of decisions or the hesitation of decisions like they were. And a little bit of it was maybe I jumped on them, you know, the game before about let's share the ball. And then you share too much, you know. You, you, you're not quite sure where and where, when you're supposed to go. we got great kids. and uh, You know, I have to caution myself to be careful not to uh, – be so critical that they, you know, they don't play freely, and uh, uh, you know we'll, we'll work on it again. Like I said, that, it was a big piece we lost last year unexpectedly, and we're filling it in with guys who really haven't played at this level. If we get enough size to play against people, so, you know, it is what it is. I thought uh, for the most part, second half we started running things. We started getting our offense in gear. I, Second half, I think we shot. Let's see if I was right. They have 51% field goals as opposed to 31, 40% from threes as opposed to nine. And that's just that's just uh, being clever and, and, and being intense and being focused and, and having confidence to make big plays, which is what we talked about at halftime. So you still got to make plays, fellas. You got to make plays. That means you step up and make plays. 
Y'all capable of doing that? Step up and make them and quit worrying about things. He came out, John hit two threes real quick. I thought that guy was okay. You know, he's kind of our leader. He's got to do that. And he kind of got the, the flush going. And, uh, you know, again, we went from 19 down to should have won the ball game or real close to winning the ball game. So it is what it is. Is that the kind of the irony of the situation? You've always prided yourself on letting them play free, and it seems like they're playing pretty tight right now. It seems like they're almost afraid to make a mistake. Yeah, but I'm also a big proponent of uh, sharing the ball. And there's a fine line you got to judge as a coach or how you get them to share the ball without cutting down on how they want to play. And, uh, you know, uh, the rotations that we have now, uh, we relied heavily on George and Jansen, you know, and, and they have to, you know, their motors have got to pick up. I think they will. And, and they've got to give us that. The thing about Penova, I think you missed the most, besides the 15 point score, and the nation's lead shot blocker, our leading rebound. The thing that we missed most was his playmaking and his ability to keep us in rhythm. Because he did a lot where he would dribble up the floor himself. And start our offenses and get it. We don't we don't have that luxury so far this year. Uh, so we had to find another way to get that done. And, uh, obviously, to me anyway, watching field, we haven't bridged that gap as well as we have to. Good. All right. Thanks.